Hey folks, Joe Montana here, and this uh, quick lesson is on percents. So it will get you proficient in percents. Okay, to change a percent to a decimal, you just move the decimal two places to the left. So, for example, 55%, 5%, and 1.2%. Okay, when the decimal is not here, it's always at the end on the right. So I'm going to move it two places over here, 1, 2, and so it becomes 0.55. Okay? So uh, there's the decimal right there, and then move it two places to the left, and it becomes uh, 0.55. And you always put a zero right there. Okay, and then this one doesn't have a decimal right here, so you just uh, imagine the decimal's there, so move it two places to the left. Okay, so that becomes 0 0.05. I have my stuff up here. Okay, and then uh, this one gets moved two places to the left here, 1, 2, so there it is at uh, 0 0.012. Okay, and if there's nothing there, you go ahead and add these zeros in there. If there, you know, if it creates a new space, and you add a zero in there, okay? And again, uh, it'll, if there's no number in front of it, then uh, you put a zero in front of it. All right, and then to uh, change uh, decimals to percents, you just do the opposite. You move the decimal two places to the right. Okay, so this goes over here, 1, 2, so it's 25%. This goes two places to the right, one, two, so it's 0.5%, and then this one becomes 128%. Okay? Easy enough, huh? All right, so percent problems can often be set up into uh, what's called a proportion, and in proportions you can do this math procedure that most everybody's done. It's called cross multiplication. And I'll show you all of this in just a second. And so this is how your percent typically works right here. Uh, is over a uh, percent over 100. Now let me get a little bit more specific here. What I do is I put the 100 here first. I put the percent right here. I look for the word of and then what's right after that. I put it down there and this is usually my leftover. It's right before that. So this is what I'm talking about. 100 goes here. It's in here, honey. <clears throat> and then uh, I put the percent for a second right there and I look for the word of and what's right after the word of goes down there. And then the leftover stuff, it's, it's sometimes before, it's sometimes after, it just depends, but this is my leftover stuff, but it's always right next to the word is. All right, let's try a couple of these here. So uh, 1.8 is what percent of 30? Okay, let's go ahead and set up a proportion. Here's my rule right here. Let's put the 100 right there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then percent, okay. It says what percent, so that must be my X, that's my unknown. Okay, we don't know what it is. And then look for the word of. Here's of. What's right after that? 30. That goes in the bottom left-hand corner. And then the leftover piece is right over here, 1.8. So it's right there next to the word is. Okay, and then you can cross-multiply. And so 30x equals 1.8 times 100. And then anything times 100 just moves that decimal over two places to the right. So it becomes 180. And 30 goes in there six times. All right, let's try another. Uh, what number is 250% uh, of 2? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put the 250 right here. Okay, and then, uh, it, um, I'm sorry, but, uh, 100 goes right here, and then 250 goes right here. I was getting a little ahead of myself right here. And then look for the word of. So of is of 2, so 2 goes over here. And then my leftover piece is, must be my X. Everything else is filled in right there, okay? And then you can go ahead and cross-multiply. So you get uh, 100X equals 2 times 250, or 500, and 100 goes into 500 five times, okay? See, these are easy. All right, so 3 is 0.2% uh, of what number, okay? So 100 goes here. My 0.2 goes right here. Here's the word of. It says, of what number? So that time, this this is going to be my X right here. So my leftover stuff is this 3 right here. Okay? They, they all work like that. And you can cross-multiply. And then 0 0.2 goes into 300, 1,500 times. All right, what percent of 4 is 5? Okay, 100 goes down here. Uh, again, they, we don't know the percent, so that must be my X. So X goes right here. Here's of 4, so 4 goes right here. And then the leftover piece is 5, so it goes right there, okay? And then go ahead and cross-multiply and solve for X, and you get 125. All right, and then uh, percent increase or decrease, um, then you use this fraction. You find the change between the two. The change is the subtraction. How much did it change? And then this is the starting number, the beginning number. And then you divide. You take this number, divide it by this number, and then move the decimal over two places to the right, and that would be your percent increase or decrease. I have a couple examples. The price of a computer was decreased from 1,000, that's my starting number, my original number, to 750. So the change would be the difference of those guys, so subtract them. So what's the percent decrease? 
So it's going to be change divided by original number. So the change is uh, 250. The original number is 1,000. So 250 over 1,000. Plug that in your calculator. 250 divided by 1,000. Actually, these cancel right here. And 250 or 25 over 100 is 0.25. So 0.25, then move the decimal two places to the right. So it becomes 25%. Okay, so it was 25% decrease. All right, let's try one more. A suitcase, a $120 suitcase goes down on sale for $96. What's the percent decrease on this? Okay, so change. This is my original number. This is the original, so this goes on the bottom, and then you subtract those two. So subtract them, and that's what goes on top. And uh, 24 over 120 is 0.2, so move it over two places, 1, 2, and so it creates a blank spot, so you put a zero in there, so it becomes 20%. Okay, that's it, you guys. Take care.